Hello and welcome, uh, just a quick walkthrough of Sunset 2 for anyone who is interested. Uh, I've taken lots of photos of the boat today, so if you would like copies of those just message me and I can send them on to you. It's on the swim platform, there's a ladder that falls down into the water. There's a transom gate as you go inside. And here's a shower. A uh, cold water shower that pulls out if you decide to go swimming. That's a three pin waterproof plug socket, which is uh, just handy for uh, power washers, things like that. Main seat on the back lifts up, storage underneath, and that's where the boat hook is stored. That's the filler for the fresh water. Uh, there's two cup holders each side. They they are LED but I haven't wired them in yet and then there's LED cockpit lights throughout. This uh, seat here folds down as a sunbed and then all these covers will come off at the moment. I've just got the back one off but they will all zip out all the sides uh, just leaving the bimini on top. You can even take that off if you want and then as, as I described in the ad, it also comes with a flat tonner cover, which we use in the winter. Um, the back section zips in and there is a section that zips up for the door, so if it is bad weather you can, uh, you can use that. There's two different sized tables that slot in there. One is a, a full dining sort of size and the other is just a small table for drinks. The helm seat I was going to have recovered to match the upholstery because I wanted a one with a lift bolster. I'm six foot one, so if I sit on the bolster, I've got a nice view over the windscreen uh, and I find that quite comfortable. It does come with the original helm seat, this trim to match the rest of the interior, uh, and this, this seat also swivels, uh, so I'll just give you a little bit more space. It's got a bow thruster, which I described as side power bow thruster which has uh, been really, really valuable when learning how to use this. It's got a standard Horizon VHF radio, D uh, DSC, one of the digital ones that's all wired in. And then this is the current chart plotter that I use, which is uh, a Garmin. But as I said, I'm gonna leave the transducer on the boat so the new owner can decide what, what sort of device best suits their, their boat in if, if she's gonna go to a river or something like that you would just need the the depth gauge rather than the full chart plotter so I thought that was uh, but the hard work's done because the transducer is all fitted and that fits a, uh, a variety of the Garmin devices so as we go down inside immediately in front of you is um, the sort of saloon area this folds up uh, to make a double bed here Underneath here is a big storage void where we keep uh, the dehumidifier and things when it's not in use. That's what I particularly liked about this layout. It does give you a lot of storage. Uh, speakers up in the front for the stereo and then we, we fitted a, um, a digital TV. Uh, it's got an aerial and DVD and it, it runs off the Wi-Fi in the marina which is good. Uh, underneath all the seats is loads of storage. And it's under the floor as well. Previous owner had these over carpets made, um, which are really nice. Um, the galley is on this side. So first off, got the electric panel built in there, and the uh, stereo. Stereo is a, a Pioneer. It's got USB, and it's got Bluetooth, so you can link it to your phone. Uh, and if you get one of the Garmin units, you can link it all together so you can get your messages, control your music from the chart plotter. This is a stove. We've never actually used this. It's electric um, and it also runs off alcohol if you're not on shore power. The fridge is a 240 volt uh, Husky fridge. We replaced the existing fridge we had to with, with this. Um, we, my wife just liked the look of it. 
but all the wiring's in behind it for a, a 12 volt fridge if you wanted to add that. Again, there's lots of storage in the in the galley. There's a sink that drains straight out um, and the taps. Again, we've only ever used the cold water system, which is pressurized. And then there's 240 plug sockets um, on the on each side of the galley. Microwave comes with a boat. This is the smallest microwave I could find, but it's really uh, efficient and it, it matches the, the rest of the galley. That comes with a boat. Um, and because it's fitted on this uh, tray with a bevel, it doesn't so it doesn't move around. Also here, there's USB chargers, which are 12 volt. The cabin, if you like, or um, the sleeping area is back through and then goes underneath the cockpit floor. It's quite a big size. Um, this is a king size duvet and it fits really well, it's really comfortable and there's a mattress topper on there as well. Um, when we looked for this boat we looked for quite a while because a lot of people tend to use this area just for storage and because we wanted to sleep in it we um, we did look for a while for a boat that hadn't just had fenders and things thrown in the back. The heads then is on this side. So this is a, a Jabsco manual toilet that was fitted uh, the beginning of this year. It's all got all new plumbing, uh, works really well. Goes to the um, holding tank which is in the engine bay or you can have it directly pumped outside. Sink with taps and then there's a pull out shower uh, that you can mount up because this galley is um, almost like a PVC plastic material so I guess it's to be used, it could be used as a wet room. And then there is a drain down in that corner, which drains down into us into a sump pump that'll pump out the wastewater. Um, I can't quite stand in the galley, but my, my wife can. She's five foot four, just to give you uh, an idea of that. If you have any questions or anything, please just let me know. Um, I know. I don't want anyone to, to travel any distance to see you. If you've got burning questions, please just let me know. Engines in the back. Um, we had all the fire system installed when we bought it. On the bulkhead then is the uh, battery panel. There's two batteries down in the corner. And then the engine uh, lives in there. It's the holding tank on that side. Just turn it over. Really good engine, really uh, worked really well for us. And when the hatch is down, it's quite quiet. Um, there's a sort of, it's not as loud as some boats. And then the bow thruster, just here the motor whirring. It works really well. Thank you very much for, for watching. And as I say, if you've got any questions at all, Please, uh, please just let me know.